It started as a simple download for Windows Mobile in Japan, and now this little lost bird has finally made it overseas. This is Ivy the Kiwi, and it's time for another Ludus review. Yuji Naka, the co-creator behind the Sonic the Hedgehog character, has created another icon for a video game, but this one isn't as fast. What species this little bird is exactly is unknown, but it's walking about and looking for its mother, and you need to help it along. Xseed has been long promoting this game, and it was finally released on August 24th for the Wii and Nintendo DS systems, as well as the downloadable. How good is the game, and how did the two versions stack up? Well, let's find out. The idea behind the game is very simple, and so is the game. The story is based upon getting the small bird in shell to the goal platform at the end of the maze without letting her touch spikes or enemies. You do so by using strips of ivy that you can create, move, stretch, and pull to prevent her from taking a path. You can use them to move her around and even to shoot her up into the air like a fire drill. The latter allows you to break through weak stones and knock enemies away. The vines work extremely well with the Wiimote's vibration setting, and you can tell when you are about to snap a vine from stretching it too far, making the controls a well thought out aspect to this title. The controls are very simple and instinctive, and the short 5 second tutorial videos send you on your way knowing all you need to get little Ivy to the goal. The higher on the goal block that she lands, the more points you get for a higher score. The feathers you find along the way are not essential to finish a stage, but accumulating 10 of them gives you a much needed extra life. Time is of the essence here, and you must find the best way to get as many feathers as you like while still getting her to the goal before the time expires, which would send the little chick squealing back to the beginning of the stage. Enemies in some of the stage obstacles can be manipulated through vine use. But with the camera following Little Ivy, players will find it sometimes faster to move the little chick than, say, the bothersome mice. Crows will appear in some stages as well and cannot be blocked with your magical vines, so it may become necessary to move a stone to defeat them or use Ivy to scoot the little chick along. The graphics on the Wii look good with their colored pencil backgrounds and really doesn't need a lot of processing power making this game one of the faster and smoother games for the Wii. The lack of interesting music, however, is a great letdown, as they could have easily used the disc space for more music. Don't get me wrong, the music is good, but it is extremely repetitive, and I found myself quickly turning down the volume after just a few stages. There are 100 levels for the Wii and the DS version, but for the WiiWare and DSWare versions, there are only 50 levels. The stages are separated into groups of five levels, and I have found that there are some interesting maps on the DS version that are not on the Wii one. Now, don't be surprised if you find yourself easily zooming through the first 50 to 20 stages in about 30 to 45 minutes. This is initially where my disappointment set in, as I thought that the game was going to be something that I would complete in just a few hours. But on both the Wii and DS systems, it got devilishly hard come the 6th and 7th group of 5 stages, and quickly became something that I knew I wasn't going to complete in a few days. The controls for the DS version are just as interesting as the Wii, but I actually think that the controls for the DS are a bit easier, because you're actually touching the screen and not relying on a disembodied hand from a distance. The added multiplayer option is interesting, but the 2-4 player versus gameplay on the Wii loses its intrigue fairly quickly and really did not keep my interest for long. But when I did take a break from the story mode, I did try and go back to get higher points and faster times in the stage trial mode, and this is the area that I enjoyed playing through just as much as the story mode. Now the Nintendo DS port is extremely fun and a great title if you like platform puzzles. The challenge grows gradually, and it will be important to know that you will not beat this in one sitting. This is a perfect title for the DS, and is well worth the cost of the game. The Wii version is a decent game, but it felt like something was missing throughout all my gameplay. I felt that, while attractive and a good port of the DS version, the DS is just a superior game. I enjoyed my time with both versions, but I think I enjoyed the DS more. This started as a portable game, and I feel it really needs to stay one. For a burgeoning title, this game might scare away some people with its simplicity, 
Both those who give it a chance will really see the complexity within stretching three vines at a time and helping a chick to its goal. If you have a DS and Wii, either version is really worth getting, as I can only see this game getting bigger in the future as puzzle games seem to be rocketing in popularity, which is a good omen for those of us who adore puzzle games. Thank you.